Yo, it's Trent. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all that. Hope everyone's having a good day. And we got uh, the school field trip gone wrong or smoking on the school field trip. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but uh, we got in some trouble. So let's talk about that. So this building, first of all, this field trip was like an hour and a half, two hours away on the bus, right? So first of all, that sucks. Second of all, um, this building was... I'm guessing like a huge science building. The only thing remotely that I can think of to compare it to is the amazing Spider-Man, you know, Andrew Garfield, uh, you know, where he works in the fucking movie, you know, like the Oscorp building. That's what I would like. That's the only thing that reminds me of it because it was like, yeah, I don't know how many stories it was. It had to be like 15 to 20, you know what I mean? But there was a big uh, opening on every floor. Like, it, you could go right through the middle of the building. Like, if you jumped from the top of it in, you could fall all the way to the ground. You know what I mean? It was like a balcony on each thing that went around the outside. Like, that was the building. Like, it was just weird looking. Um, so, we, we're inside. And I remember on the way there, they tell us we're going to be in groups, right? And uh, they already had the groups assigned. And also, to make it interesting... Well, I don't know if they did this on purpose, but I thought it was interesting... The groups was with everybody. Like, you had, like, four or five people in your group, but they took literally every person um, from different classes. So you could have one person in your class, and you could have, like, uh, four people you don't know, right? That's what happened to me. There were three girls in my group, and I had no idea who they were, but there was one dude that I knew a little bit. I knew he smoked, which is important for the story, right? Because obviously, I brought a cart to this. Like, we're going to be on the bus for two hours both ways. And we're going to be there, I'm guessing, like, three hours. Because that's a school day. That's, like, seven hours, you know? So I'm going to be getting high all day. That's the expectation, right? So once I find out this dude's in my group, I let him know real quick. I have a cart. Like, I have nicotine. Like, I'm not trying to learn today. You know what I mean? And he's he's basically like, yeah, sounds good. Let's get fucked up, right? And he didn't have a cart, but he had nicotine too. And he had a device. I had like a disposable, but he had a device. So, I mean, I was willing to let him hit the cart if I could hit his thing. You know what I mean? It wasn't a big deal to me. So we get there. And I remember the first thing they were talking to us about was lunch. Like this lunch situation, how it's going to go in a couple hours. And we're basically like, okay. And uh, there wasn't like a order we had to go in but there was certain amount of things that like I don't know if it was the principal or the dean or who but they wanted us to see certain things but it didn't matter which order right so the teacher that uh was like our group leader let's say I knew her a little bit she was like uh we're gonna go over here right and how it went was the girls talked the whole time like that teacher and the three girls were all laughy chatty the entire like little field trip right like, they would walk ahead, and we'd be, like, 10, 15 steps back, like, sometimes on our phones, sometimes talking to each other, but we'd, mo we'd mostly just stay back, like, stay around a corner so we could hit the cart or whatever, right? And we started off right, because they said we were gonna go to this, uh, we were gonna go, like, look at machinery or some shit, like, see how something's made. So, immediately, because we had just gotten there a little bit ago, right? I used my first little bathroom break scenario. I was like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom before we start this journey, right? Going to the bathroom and get high as fuck. Like, high as fuck, right? Come out, and I got cotton mouth, and I'm not even thinking about a drink. Like, there was nowhere to get a drink, and I didn't bring one with me. That was the only thing I didn't think of, right? And so, we get to this room, and this dude's telling us about, like, uh some robot fucking computer thing that was honestly like i'm sure it was interesting to somebody but not me that shit was boring as fuck i'm sitting there and the only thing my mind on is getting the drink right and i was a little bit paranoid because i kept looking at uh like i was saying the building how it's open right in the middle i just kept thinking like like i don't know just something could come right through there and fucking crush this building, right? But I'm just high as fuck standing there. You know how your mind fades off and shit. So I'm standing there. It's fucking boring. And finally, we get to leave that room, right? And next, the next thing wasn't too bad. There was like a, I don't want to say exhibit because this wasn't a museum place. Like a museum. Ah, I can't fucking say that word. But it wasn't that kind of place. You know what I mean? But there was one thing where like you could kind of help or mess around with something. You know, it was like, these switches and buttons and shit. I mean, I sound like I'm like five years old talking about this, but it, it was like, uh, 
you were looking at a screen and you'd move a button and it would like make a pattern on the screen. We had to try to make a certain pattern. It was some really weird, boring little kid shit, right? But when you're baked as fuck with this kid, I don't want to say he was my friend, but for the day he was my friend, you know, that shit was kind of funny. Like we're sitting there trying to make the design be a dick and we're, it's supposed to be a straight line and we're trying to make a dick. Like that shit was kind of funny, you know? Also, I want to talk about one of the girls at one point, right? Noticed that we were kind of tracking behind and hitting stuff like she could sense it. You know what I mean? I think she was a bit of a stoner herself. So she asks me, she's like, hey, I don't know if you guys have anything on you, but if you do, do you think I could hit it? And I was skeptical as fuck because I didn't know this girl at all, but she just had the vibe to her that she smoked, you know, but I didn't know to what capacity, right? Like my biggest fear was letting her hit it. And then one, she has like a reaction, like she does something like she acts weird or like too high, you know, or she just starts like, I don't know, like I just thought she was going to get me caught, right? So I didn't really want to, but she had this look in her eyes like she was kind of fucking bored, like she wanted it. So I was like, okay, I guess you can hit it, right? She hits it and she wasn't acting weird, but she definitely was acting different from how she was like. At least for me, in those scenarios where you're high in school or high in a scenario where you can't be high, whether it's work or whatever, I can play it off okay, right? I may look a little stoned, but you can chalk that up to so many things. You could say, I didn't sleep a lot last night, like like winds going in my eyes. You could say, like for me, my hair is going in my eyes. It's irritating me, right? Like you could say whatever. So I wasn't too worried about that. But this girl got that that girl went from like 100% wanting to learn talking all this stuff to just quiet. So it's like, oh, sketches you out a little bit, right? So we get to lunchtime. And I remember they gave us these fucking busted ass like hot dogs or sandwiches or something. They look fucked up. I was like, I'm not eating that shit, right? So I didn't. I just got a drink because I've been waiting for a drink. You know that. I had cod mouth. I drank that drink so fast. And I'm like, can I have another one? They're like, sure, right? So my lunch at this place was like three or four fucking orange juices because I'm not fucking drinking milk, especially when I'm high. Are you kidding me? No. So just drinking orange juice high as fuck at this thing, right? And um, there was like three or four more things we were going to check out before we leave. So me and this kid are like, well, you know, we have to get high, right? And this is kind of where we got in trouble, right? Because I mentioned at the beginning we got in trouble and it didn't go great. Uh, this is what got us in trouble. So I asked to go to the bathroom. She's like, sure. So we go to the bathroom and on the way to the bathroom, we see a room, right? Or I don't want to say a room, but it was a door. And then the door was like opened a little bit. And the room that it like opened up into, it looked like a big uh, kind of like a banquet room or like where they'd have a meeting, you know, but it was completely dark. So me and my friend see that and the teacher's kind of, kind of, I don't want to say watching us, but she's keeping an eye on us, you know? So we go to the bathroom and then when we left the bathroom and in the bathroom, we hit the cart probably three or four times each. Like we hit it a good amount because we knew that like, this is the last bit of walking and then we go sit on the bus for a couple hours. Like either way, we'll be fine, right? This is where we messed up though. We shouldn't have done this, but we did. Like I, ugh, it pisses me off. We could have had a perfect, a perfect scenario, but I don't know why. We decided to go in this dark room, right? So we go in the room and like half the room is fucking spinning chairs. You know what I mean? So we both go sit down because like we got to sit to eat, but it was like a fucking like, you know what I mean? Like a lunch table. Like it wasn't a great nothing to rest your back on, right? So this is like the first time for a couple hours we can sit back. So we get on those spinning chairs and we're just passing the cart back and forth, just blowing smoke everywhere, right? I'm hitting the fiend, blowing the just clouds, right? Same with the other kid. Like we were just being dumb, right? And my our little teacher person walks in and it's just cloudy. Like it's just cloudy. And I knew instantly we fucked up. I was like, why did we do this? Like this was dumb, right? She's like, Trent, come here. And she calls the other kid's name and we go over there and she's like, this is... This is unacceptable behavior, especially when someone is letting us into their space and their building and stuff. And you guys are doing this. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And she was pissed at us for like the rest of the tour. But once we got on the bus, she was a little more lenient, right? She was telling us how we'll talk about this when we get back to school. But I'm disappointed in you guys, right? But she wasn't like... Like, you know, if you piss off a teacher real bad on a field trip, the entire way back, they're just going to be like... like you know what I mean? They're going to be mad. Like, you're going to know they're mad. But this lady, like, she was mad at us for a bit. And then she kind of lightened up, right? 
So we get back there and the whole time, and I still hit the cart on the bus. I'm not a bitch. Like I was going to get high on the way back. It's a long ride, right? So we get back and everybody's getting ready to leave. And she's like, I need to see you two and we need to go to the office, right? So I'm like, fuck, I thought maybe she wouldn't get us in trouble, but what are you going to do, right? So we get there and you know what? She helped us out a little bit, but not enough. But also this could have been true. I don't know if she knew whether or not we were smoking weed. Like she might have just thought we were hitting nicotine because we were blowing clouds everywhere, but we were hitting both in that room. She told the principal that we were hitting vapes, like nicotine vapes, right? So he asks if there's anything on us. I'm like, no. And he's like, well, do you guys want to get searched? And I'm thinking like my thing's almost dead. I've been chiefing it all day. I've had it for like two days. Like what's the worst that's going to happen, right? So I'm like, yeah, I got it on me, but it's fucking dead. Like, I, I'm I'm going home and throwing it away, right? He's like, you can throw it away here. So I throw away my fucking vape, which definitely still had like 20 hits in it, which is sad, but it's like, you know, what are you going to do? Take your losses, right? Gives me detention for like, I think it was like nine days, eight, eight days, maybe. No, that seems like a long time. It might have just been a week. That seems more realistic. It was probably just like a week of detention. But I remember it being a little longer than I would have liked. But I got lucky because honestly, they could have suspended us if they knew it was weed and we're on a field trip just chiefing in a room. But it was just nicotine or they thought it was just nicotine. So we were OK. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, all that. Uh, got some puppy videos and I'll make sure to post some gaming videos today. Appreciate all the fucking views recently too. Like we're about to hit a thousand. That's beautiful. I'm gonna do some vlog stuff coming up. I'm gonna try to expand. You know, we got the football video starting. Um, yeah, and I appreciate all the fucking love. Usually, honestly, and I don't mean to say this to sound like I don't know what I'm trying to sound like, but it's just the truth. Usually, the comments are like kind of negative, which I get. I'm talking about not not great stuff, you know, but. Recently, a lot of people have been really nice, so I appreciate that. That That's cool. So, hope you guys are good. Uh, be safe and peace out.